So I often get asked, how do I begin? How do I get ideas? And sometimes the ideas come fast and easy, and sometimes they don't. And this week, they didn't. And so I just have to start. I have to show up. And I look at my colors, and I see what inspires me. And I, I look at the comp, I use my color wheel all the time. And from that, I, I just take the next step choose my colors, choose what substrate I, I think I want to create on. Maybe it's just my journal. Maybe it's just a piece of paper. I'll grab a stack of collage papers and just roam through them freely, not thinking about anything except what interests me, what makes me smile, what makes me go, ooh, that's cool. Just start somewhere. Just show up here for five minutes, for, for an hour, for however long you have. And choose the things that are around you that inspire you. When I'm in this place where I don't know what to create, when my ideas feel <clears throat> dry, I just start throwing paint around. Anything to get that creative flow happening. And as soon as I get color moving around, I, I, something happens, something ignites within me. And, um, I start to move faster, I start to not overthink, and that overthinking thing can really, really hold us up. Don't be afraid to start without an idea, without the end in mind. Just show up and put something down. The reason I start with just making a mess, making marks, making just doing whatever is the next thing is because what happens in the process is there's something in there that makes you smile. There's something in the mess making that makes you go, oh, maybe I should do more of that. Maybe I should try that in a different color. Maybe I should whatever. And what you should do is follow that voice. So I've made my mess and I've, I've chosen black because it felt like the right thing. And it could have been green, it could have been purple, because none of this is truly important right now. I mean, it plays a part and it gives me new ideas for the next step, but most of it will be covered. And that's the whole point of these first layers, especially when you don't know where you're going. Thank you. 
Not a single thing here made sense, except for the fact that it made me happy. And that's always where we have to start, always. Especially when we feel dry with with zero ideas, with zero motivation. You always show up and do what makes you happy. And the more color I blended, and the more things that I smushed around, and the stencils that I used, it all, every single next step, pushed me further and kept me going. I dipped my brayer right into my bucket of water and thought, what about if I did this? And that's always what we have to ask ourselves. What if? Because if I did this and I just hated it, what's the worst that could happen? I cover it over. And I cover over many things that I put down throughout this piece because I didn't like them. But there's no risk. So at this point, I'm like, well, where do I go? That's always the question. So I just started making marks. I started fiddling. I started playing and moving paint around again. I grabbed a palette knife and made marks. I was grabbing anything around me to see what would happen. I got a little black paint in my burnt sienna. That didn't matter. And in this process, as I began to put some green down and I got to see some shapes from these stencils, I started to see something. And that's where it begins. You'll always find something that you love and it makes you think, okay, so where can I take it? And I'm starting to bring all of my colors together And I'm starting to see some vision for where I may want to take this. But again, I'm willing at every single step to let go of whatever I've put down if I don't like it. But these colors are my favorite colors and I love, love what's happening. I see vines, I see nature in this piece. It feels, the colors feel soothing to me. And part of that is because I looked at my color wheel and I chose complementary colors. Part of that is because it's just what I love. Now I've got some of that pale, Titan pale Mars on my brayer and that was a risk that light color right over that with the brayer but I loved it but if I didn't love it I'd just cover it back over with paint and I think the one thing that I want you to hear me say is just do something start anywhere cover it back over a thousand times until you find what you're looking for
So talking about how each step leads us, when I put that white down in the stencil on the right side, I did not like it. But what I did like was that light contrast. And so that light contrast led me to think, okay, maybe I need to see more of that. And so I covered over it. I took it away. I took away a lot of things that I just put down. And as soon as I got some of that light on there, it, uh, my soul came alive. And you notice that I turned it around because that helps me see it differently. It helps me see things that maybe I didn't see before. Or it helps me see maybe some balance or something that's not quite right. And it's always a dance, and I say it over and over again. So with the white, I covered up a lot of that um, burnt sienna, so I'm just bringing it back in. Nothing is ever permanent. We can always bring it back or take it away. I felt like things were getting way too simple and predictable. So I thought, why not? Let's try it. Let's make some drips. Let's make a mess again. And it brought back some of that um, vision that I saw in the beginning of nature. Trees, maybe. Well, hello, my loves, and happy Sunday to you. I have been going to town on this project, and um, I'm loving where it's at. And where it's going to go, I don't know, but I am so very happy with it. It is so beautiful, the colors, um, everything. And I've been explaining bits and pieces throughout till we got here. So let's take a look real quick. So I just absolutely love, love, love the layers. I love them. I love the colors. And at the beginning, you saw that I checked with my color wheel. I do that all the time. That's how, when I don't know what I'm going to do, that's how I start. And today is all about starting and not knowing. And that can be scary for everyone, including me, especially since I'm doing it in front of everyone. But let me go over a couple of things. This is an 18 by 18 uh, gallery depth canvas. I have used so far burnt sienna, uh, raw sienna. I've used some Mars, Titan Mars pale, beautiful color and is beautiful with burnt sienna. I have used my unbleached titanium. I brought I brought a couple out because I wasn't sure the, of the thickness that I wanted, but I'm happy with mine. And I love my mixed my custom uh, paints because they're matte. Um, I am using my custom teal color, this gorgeous color that I'm gonna have to make some more of, and then olive green, uh, black and white gesso. I'm just trying to think if I, I haven't used a drop of umber, which is really strange. I just, that just occurred to me. 
but I'm not thinking that it needs it. Ooh, I'm just, now I'm like, wow, how did I do that? Um, I have used my brayer to get some really good kind of grungy textural marks. I have used my Stabilo All pencil. That's what this is. And when I turned the camera off, I had already done all this. I just quickly put this down and spritzed it. And um, I was wanting to get some good contrast. I've got some good contrast in here. Um, where this is going to go, I don't know. I'm, I'm loving how it looks right now. Um, but I want to put on a few more layers. I started with my collage papers. I just chose what made me happy, and we're going to talk about that in just a second. So far, I have used, um, this is Inroads, this is Carved Pods, oh, I'm, that's pretty wet, I better not do that. This is Carved Pods, this is Carved Up, the, and this is the um, Rambling Branches 1 and Rambling Branches 2. Those are what I have used today so far. And um, I don't know if I'll be grabbing any more. I don't think I will, but you know, you just never know. Um, those will be on sale for you this week. Um, what else do I need to tell you about this? I've covered all of the things that I can think of that I have used. Fluid matte medium to put my papers down with. I'm just kind of in this zone right now. And to be honest, I was gonna come to you sooner than what I was doing here, but I was so in it that I forgot, which is the best. It is absolutely the best thing. Um, so here is where we are. And um, so I, to be honest, I had no idea what I was going to do for Sunday. Most of the time I have them planned. I have ideas. Um, I, I just, I know I look, but that's the kind of week and day and month it has been. And so when I, I in fact, I even forgot because I always film uh, on Mondays for, you know, a couple of weeks ahead. And April, my assistant's like, do you have Sunday done? And I'm like, Had he, hadn't even thought about it. So I was like, yikes. So I'm trying to find ideas and trying to find ideas. And up on my bulletin board, where all of the things that I have inspire me, and we've talked about that before, um, the quote, one of my favorite quotes says, I begin with an idea and then it becomes something. That's from Van Gogh. But I added underneath that, but you have to begin. And so um, that's what today is all about. So often we think that we have to start with a destination in mind when we create or an idea in mind and we don't. Most of the time, most of my ideas happen like this, playing, trying things, putting colors together, trying stencils and pulling back paint and dripping things and smudging things and oh, I'm going to try a brayer. Whatever is around me, I will try. And um, that is where my ideas come from. And I begin with an idea, then it becomes something. And then Van Gogh also has a quote that says, great things are done by a series of small things. And those two go together for me always because that's art. I mean, all of the things that I have done here today are not because I thought they were, I've done them before. And when I don't know what to do, and I've done this over and over and over again, it becomes, um, now, I don't want to say routine because that's not really what it is. When you create, it's never routine. You never know how it's going to turn out. Um, but I can pull those things out of my tool belt. And you have to show up to create. 
And you have to show up for anything. That great things are done by a series of small things. That's with all of our lives. That's with our relationships, with our health, with every, every single thing. Going to therapy, all, it all starts with small little things in a row. And so does art. And so I want to encourage you today to just start. And for a moment, this is the other thing, for a moment, I've lost all track of time. And that is a wonderful thing for me because I'm always on a schedule. And I'm here and I'm excited about what I see happening in front of me just because I decided to show up and do something. Something. And it doesn't have to be this big. It, it can be teeny tiny. It can be in your journal. It can be anything. I just want you to create for you without the thought of a finished piece because I didn't know if I will take the, I, I still don't know how far I will take this before I actually do run out of time. Um, but I'm here and we're creating and we're, oh, it's just so good. All the things, every time I do something, I'm like, that was awesome. Um, so I want to encourage you today for yourself to show up and create for you. Not for a project, not because you have to get something done, but just for you and play and fiddle and roam around and pull out things that you haven't used. It is the best stress relief and this season is crazy town. It's the best stress relief. I don't care what you use. Use uh, anything. I, it doesn't, a broom. I've got a broom over there that I thought, hmm, maybe I'll do swipe some stuff on there with the broom. I've got Q-tips. I've got wh whatever you've got. Markers, anything. Just do something. Okay, my loves. I have zero idea of where this is going to go, but I'm so excited about it. It is so, so good. And it has filled me up. And I want you to find something today to fill you up. Most of the time, it's even if it's just 10 minutes. When we get in here and we slap some paint around, it gives me a sense of calm. And I hope that for you today, this week, this month, this season. All right, my loves. I'm going, oh, one, one other thing. Um, Angels Among Us, today's the last day. The last day for early bird pricing. So I wanted to let you know that too. Um, and, uh, stencils will be on sale. Supplies I will have listed on the blog and the link to the blog and everything will be down below in the YouTube description box. I got so carried away with what I'm doing. I forgot the things that I needed to say. That's a wonderful thing. Okay, my loves, have a wonderful Sunday. I hope it's restful. I hope it's peaceful. I hope you get a chance to create for the sake of creating and create a mess, whatever it is. Just get here, show up for you. All right, my loves, have a wonderful Sunday and always, always know that you are loved.